Hello everybody, today in front of me I have nothing, phone one, and in this video we would like to show the best display settings to change on this device. Alrighty, so first of all let's go ahead and open up the settings and the display category as well. In here we'll have the first configurations that I would like to show you in this video which is called colors and as you can see it allows you to change the colors the presets for colors of your interface at the well first or top part of the page you'll have the preview pictures which will allow you to visually see what does the colors that you have come for will look like exactly and there is also this convenient bar that allows you to regulate the color temperature from warm on the left all the way up to very cold on the right. Alrighty, the next configuration is called the night light. And this uh, option or this feature filters out the blue light once active, of course, and makes it so that uh, your eyes are getting significantly less tired from looking at the display, looking at the screen of this device. Therefore, prevents an eye fatigue significantly. So let's go ahead and turn it on. As you can see, everything becomes warmer, as I've said, because the uh, excess amounts of blue light or, or, or blue s spectrum of light are being filtered. There is the schedule for it that we can set up, the custom one as well, which will uh, activate and deactivate this feature, this mode, uh, respectively. So, for example, there is the preset that turns it on from sunset to sunrise, or, as I've said, we can set the custom time frame, so start time and end time as well. And there is also this intensity bar that we can regulate pretty easily. As you can see, we are adjusting it from the from left values being the cooler ones all the way up to the right values which provide us with the warmest, the most yellowish colors. Alrighty, the next configuration that we would like to show you is called Smooth Display. And once active, once this toggle is turned on, your screen refresh rate gets increased from 60 Hz to 120 Hz for some content. Basically, the, the higher you go, the more smoother and silkier animations and interface experience you'll get in general. But at the same time, higher values of uh, screen refresh rate tend to drain the battery significantly more. So if you would like to preserve some battery, just turn the toggle off. If uh, your battery is currently sufficient, you can, well, very surely turn the switch on and increase the motion smoothness of your display. And the final setting that we would like to review in this video is called Screensaver. And as you can see, it sets some uh, colors, photos or clock for scenarios like while your phone is charged, while docked, while charging or docked or never. So therefore, if we'll turn it on, that's how the Screensaver will look like. In here, as I've said, we have quite a few uh, Screensavers to choose from. That's how the clock screen saver look. There are some configurations to it, like switching between analog and digital clock, and night mode that can be also activated. Alrighty, so that would be it for this video. Thank you so much for watching, and bye-bye.